What's up, TexMTV? Today's video, we have five more bike hacks for you guys. And before I get this video started, I want to mention uh, our new sponsor, ASP Parts. We're going to talk about their sealant later in the video. But uh, they make tire sealant, bike cleaning supplies, uh, valve stems, you know, pretty much anything you need to keep your bike going on the trail. Check out their website. We'll have a link down in the description. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get this video started. So let's get to it. All right, so for hack number one on this list, if you have a bike rack like this, just lay your bikes on, or like one um, on your car rack or whatever, what you can do is put a sock on the clamps to keep it from scratching your frame, so like so. That way it just keeps your frame in good condition, and we'll also show a little example on a um, car bike rack here in a second, but uh, yeah, simple as that. Okay, so the same thing also applies for like a bike rack like this that we have like on our RV. So uh, Jackson will demonstrate how that would work. Don't forget to use your Texas sock. Best in the game. Slip that right over. Now there's a cushion between the frame and this like hard foam or plastic. All right, so for hack number two, what we have is um, a homemade dropper lever. So if you have like a dropper post or something, like maybe your, le your lever broke and uh, I don't know, you just need like a replacement or you just don't have one, what you can do, get an old shifter right here and then uh, Tyler will take you through the steps on how to put it all together. So what you gotta do is uh, take off the main cover and it's different for every shifter, but this one, what I did is just jammed a toothpick right there. So it makes this button not do anything that way it's just just pulls that cable and it doesn't have the ratcheting mechanism it works pretty smooth and there's some that cost like fifty dollars out there and you can find these for free in the trash can at pretty much any bike shop sorry for the interruption there cowboys we're coming at you guys with a quick commercial break we're gonna be showing off asp tire sealant all four of us have been running this sealant for the past few months no issues at all we're going to be doing a quick demonstration showing how well it seals up your tires. So if y'all are looking for something like seal up your tires, go to boost or something, we recommend ASB. We'll have a link down in the description below if you want to check out their website. They've got more just tire sealing too, but uh, be sure to check them out. We'll show off uh, what it can do. Okay, we're doing it. Go! Okay. There we go. Oh! We're still good. All right, film the Sealed it right out. All right, so for hack number three, we have a homemade drying rack for a camelback bladder or maybe even like, uh, I don't know, like shirts or anything else that's like sweaty from a ride. So in this case, we use some uh, old coat hangers and then some wood. Basically, you just drill a little hole, push the coat hangers through, glue them in, and uh, you can hold just hold stuff on it. So like this, you can slide it right over a camelback bladder, leave it like that, like that to dry out for your next ride, and there you go. And uh, also plenty of room to fit other stuff on here. It doesn't have to be built exactly like this, but you get the idea if you want to make one at home. So uh, yeah. All right, so for hack number four, this isn't really like a uh, mechanical hack, but it's just to add a little more style to your bike. So for this hack, you just get some uh, vinyl or whatever on like Amazon, eBay, something cheap. Just pick a pattern you like, and then you can use it to like cover up logos on your bike, like the specialized logo here. It used to be white, but now it's in like a blue digital camo. It's also done here on the back. Uh, just kind of a cool way to add subtle little touches to your bike. Um, eventually, I think Tyler was wanting to cover like this whole upper part of his frame with it. But um, yeah, it's just something simple and kind of cool. And, um, yeah. And final hack, if you have uh, glasses that you wear while riding, uh, if they happen to fog up, this is a little trick to get them to stop fogging on like a couple rides. It's not a full-time fix, but it works for a couple hours at the very least. So what you wanna do, get some dish soap, as so, and then just rub it in on the inside of your lens. And then uh, after it's rubbed in, you want to rinse it off and then uh, you'll be good to go. And it should last a couple hours without fogging.
Okay, so here they are after uh, putting all the dish soap on. Gonna try and fog them up real quick, just see uh, how they look. It's good. Yeah, so as you can see, very little fogging. There is a tiny bit, but like before when we tried this, like it fully fogged it and it like stayed there for a while. So we call this one a success. So if y'all like want to be able to Already see a little better on the away. trail, give this one a try. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our five bike tags for today. Um, if y'all haven't seen our past bike tag videos, check those out. We'll also have a link in the description to those. We have uh, three other videos, so you know if you're interested in more bike tags, check them out. Also remember to go check out ASP Parts. Link in the bio or description. But uh, anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you later.